Fillin the Villain by K.G. Campbell, read by Charlie Morton. Mr. and Mrs. Snivels were minding their own business when they happened to have a baby. Congratulations, said the doctor. It is a healthy little supervillain. Mrs. Snivels was quite surprised. There aren't any villains in the family, she said, or are there? Mr. Snivels didn't say anything, but there totally were. The new parents named their little boy Dylan. They discovered that supervillain babies are much like any others. They don't like bedtime, they throw their food. They can be allergic to everyday stuff, like purple punish preserves. But by and large, Dylan's parents figured he was just about the best thing ever. Dylan's supervillain costume, they said, is super scary. Dylan's supervillain laugh, they insisted, is super crazy. Dylan's supervillain inventions, they boasted, are extra supervillainous. You, they told Dylan, are the very best and cleverest supervillain in the whole wide world. And Dylan totally agreed. Until he went to school. Sure, Dylan's costume was scary, but Addison Van Malice's was bone chilling. And yes, Dylan's laugh was crazy, but Addison Van Malice's was bananas. And Dylan's inventions were certainly super villainous, but Addison Van Malice's were dynamic. Honestly, grumbled Dylan, the way people act around here. You think that I'm not the very best and cleverest supervillain in the whole wide world. He vowed to prove that he was. His chance came one day when Miss Slither announced a contest. The hideous trophy she declared will be awarded to the people who create the most diabolical robot. Principal Sinister will be the judge. Each pupil was given a box apart from the diabolical robot supply closet. That hideous trophy, vowed Dylan, will be mine. All mine. Dylan worked feverishly late into the night. He sawed and he hammered, he screwed and he glued. He painted and he polished. By midnight, Dylan had built a robot. In the morning, Dylan gave his parents a demonstration. Look, he said, it has telescopic arms. It has a monster claw. It even has an astroplasm cannon. That and Mr. and Mrs. Snivels is the very best, most diabolical robot in the whole wide world. And Dylan totally agreed until he went to school. Sure, Dylan's robot was diabolical. In fact, it's more diabolical than anyone else, except one. Look, said Addison Van Malice, as titanium armor and evil laser eyes, as a freeze ray and a shrink ray. It even has a cockpit and a supersonic rockets for space travel. What does this do? said Dylan. When Principal Sinister arrived, Dylan's robot was the most diabolical in the class. Where is Addison Van Malice? said the principal. We don't know, said everyone. And that was quite true. Dylan won the hideous trophy. It was a little sticky. But Dylan didn't care. He cuddled it all night. Unfortunately, the sticky hideous trophy gave Dylan an allergic reaction. It was almost like someone had put purple punish preserves on it on purpose. That and Mr. and Mrs. Snickles is the very ugliest, most uncomfortable looking allergic reaction in the whole wide world. And Dylan totally agreed.